It's one of only a couple surviving in the world, and it is essentially a 1940s version of a computer. Starting in the late 19th century and all the way up until World War II, the British and then Canadian military installed a series of coastal fortifications all around the Greater Victoria area. Basically, all of them served to protect the shoreline of Victoria in case of a war, but also, most importantly, they served to protect the entrance to the Esquimalt Naval Base, the home of the West Coast Canadian Navy at the time. When most of these places became outmoded following the Second World War in the 1950s, one location was chosen to represent the whole fortification known as the Victoria Esquimalt Coastal Defense System. That location was here at Fort Rod Hill, right on the traditional territories of the Lekwungen speaking peoples. If I had to choose my favorite part of Fort Rod Hill, it's actually quite a difficult task. There's a lot of fun little niches and tunnels and stuff to explore here, but if I had to choose, it would probably be the fortress plotting room. This is actually part of the fort that's relatively easy to miss, and there's a good reason for that. It was built late in World War II, and it was added on to the side of Lower Battery, and it served as a bomb-proof, gas-proof underground communications area. Inside the fortress plotting room, you will find an incredibly unique piece of technology. It's called a fortress plotting machine or a fortress plotting device. It's one of only a couple surviving in the world, and it is essentially a 1940s version of a computer. It was used to track the incoming trajectories of any enemy vessels, so you would feed information into the machine and it would tell you where that vessel was going to end up, which in turn would allow the military to line up the sights of their uh, artillery in order to take care of that incoming enemy enemy ship if need be. Ours is one of the only surviving ones in the world, and they were very, very expensive. They were very, very high tech. This one was shipped to us all the way from England in 1943. The contents of the fortress plotting room were so incredibly secretive that we have very few historical photos remaining of it. Almost all the photos we have are of when they were decommissioning it because they didn't want people to know or get their hands on images of what it looked like inside when it was operational. So it's an interesting location tucked away in a relatively hard to see corner of the fort. <laughs>